call it Ephemeris, the creature collector. Oh, it's been around for over a hundred years, snatching the universe's most dangerous beasts and bringing them here to our planet. Who is in control of the machine? Hmm, no one knows. But that tyrant you saw in our village was its emissary, Commander Spock. He has been protecting Ephemeris for years. But now that you're here... Whoa, look. I'm just trying to find my way home. But you're Ratchet. You saved the whole universe. You're not supposed to... Uh, 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 <laughs> I sneezed in my mask. Listen, kid. I'd love to help you and your dad. But my pal and I, we're retired. As soon as we're off the planet, we'll notify the Defense Force. Susie is not my daughter. I'm afraid her parents were lost during the ephemeris raid on Tortumfy. Like many other children here, she is an orphan. All right. So where do we find this Commander Spock? Yeah, I'm not so big on the whole haunted forest thing. Eh, that's cool. I just thought you'd want to raise your approval rating by saving a few thousand voters. I guess parades and groupies just aren't everyone's thing. Wait a minute. Both of those are my things. Wait up! Hello guys, and welcome back to another episode of Ratchet and Clank All for One. In the previous episode, we saved a little girl, and uh, we now are going to go down into sub, 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 some subterranean thing. Wow, that was hard to say. I don't know why. In the mood for extreme destruction? Try the Warmonger, a Terraclon rocket launcher with only one setting. Vaporize. For added carnage, use multiple warmongers on the same target. Oh boy, we are definitely gonna buy ourselves one of those. Yep. Oh baby, another weapon for our amazing adventure into the dangers unknown of the unknown of the unknown. But uh, let's see, where's that located? Okay, that's left. So we just gotta remember to go left, and we will be good. Oh, I disappeared. Whoa. Dread grubs. Ooh, those things are creepy. Oh, and Clank sacrificed himself for me. Worth it. Do 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 do. I wonder what would happen if we went up instead of down. Nope, nothing. Nothing new. Oh well, that sucks. Do do do. Anything if you go further down? No, just there's nothing like secret here. I guess. Oh well, that's okay. We gotta. Those things. I think we can suck up those purple things. I'm pretty sure. But these guys grow beetle. Look at all the bugs in this game. They're like all these creatures that are based off of bugs. According to the database, the Magnus Grove Beetle has an armored shell not unlike the sewer dwelling racer ants of Ringus Minor. If attacked, explorers should search for and attack its unprotected underbelly. Sounds good. Trust Which me. I know from playing uh Tied the Tasmanian tiger whenever they flipped over. I figured that out. Look at that. Using knowledge from other games and boom, boom, putting it into this one. I don't even know what that word was. Pudding. Pudding. <laughs> like the like the dessert, but you know. Let's go. Let's go. 
I have gotten food since the previous recording, by the way, so hopefully everything's good now. Hopefully I can function a bit better. Ah, I'm not gonna function any better. But still, still getting used to this whole recording thing, new environment thing. It's crazy. But I did find out that we have about seven more levels, I think? And each main level has like five sub-levels, I noticed. Meaning that, uh, he looks like a minion, that guy. But anyway, each uh, main level has about, will take me about roughly an hour if I'm lucky, if I can do it properly. And that means each sub, there's like five sub levels, so yeah. I might be able to combine them into more than one episode per single episode, if that makes sense. Uh, you, you guys will see it. If they're 10 minute long episodes, that means I just left them as their individual episodes. But, if they are more than that, like they're 20 minutes, etc., it's pretty good. To that gadget as a quake hammer. Tharpot prospectors use them to mine for treasure. A mega quake should take care of that rock ball. Try activating your quake hammers at the same time. Oh boy, they're using new things, more new inventions. All right, let's go kill this minion. There we go. And I know where we have to go. I'm just collecting these uh, these extra bolts because everything's getting real expensive now in the game. Ready. I am ready. Do, 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 do. I think I just have to dodge this guy. I was shooting at him before, but I think I just need to dodge him, and then I should be fine. Oh, Clank took him out that time. Let's move. I am ready. One more hit by one of those things, and I'm dead, though. Or if I hit something while on this grind thing, then I'm dead, too. So let's hope we find some nanotech. Let's hope. Oh, there's some right there. And these guys are passive, so we should be fine. Woo! Come on, Clank, help me out here. Let's go. All these levels are very well designed. I do like them. For, um, for four-player base wise, they're pretty good. And they're still like the old kind of level, like the regular game levels are just kind of a bit more wider, if that makes sense. And extremely linear, but all the other maps, I guess, are technically also linear, because that's how the game is supposed to be played, is in a straight line. But there's been a few like ones where you walk around in a circle and such. Uh, something that's not really related to this game at all, but I might as well talk about because we're fighting bad guys, is I picked up the uh, the new Crash Bandicoot game for the PS4 too, and it's not really probably technically new anymore by the time you guys are seeing this episode, but you know it's it's pretty it's pretty fancy, so I'm I'm happy with it. I haven't played it yet; it's still in its plastic, but I am looking forward to playing it. Which I may record. I would I know someone asked me to record it a while ago, but uh, I was thinking I might end up streaming it, and if the stream goes well, I could always upload that to YouTube as well. So, kill two birds with one stone. There you go. Uh, I, I am out of ammo in that. Perfect. You can't hide from me, little squishy. Little squishies. Where has Clank gone? Oh, he's right on the back. my superiority ever in question? Do not forget to calculate trajectory. Nah, it does that all for me. <laughs> you look like minions so much, it's so funny. Get him, Clank, get him! There we 
go. Ready. I am ready. Yeah. Woo. Oh, this is good for me. All systems are operational. Did that give us anything from that crate? It looks like nothing. Ninja nefarious. Skin. Oh, I forgot to look up the uh, the the thing in the menu before I started this game to see if I could change his skin and make him look really funny. Oh man. Okay. I'll have to remember next time then, or after I'm done this level, I guess technically, because that's usually how I do these things. I'll record one full level thing, which. It's hard to say levels because there's like sub levels, which sub levels are basically where I've ended each episode. But like, like right now, this is the end of the episode. So I uh, thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you guys next episode for another great fun day of Ratchet and Clank all for one. We have a lead on the railway station. Our scanners picked up some collector activity in an old far pod mining camp directly beneath your position. The minions must be moving in and out via the rails. If you can find the camp, you should be able to find the station. Hello guys, and welcome back to another episode of Ratchet & Clank All for One. In the previous episode, we got a brand well, new gadget. This thing. Wait a minute. A Wait a minute. Hammer. I want to get this first. We, 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 yeah. Got this, and we got also a uh, fancy suit thing. Come on, Clank. Come on, help me out. We got a fancy uh, thing for Dr. Nefarious, like I said, some ninja skin or something, I don't know. I have to really look to see if I can see these things in the main menu, because I don't remember where you attach them from, but... This one's for you. Hey, that was fancy. That was very fancy. Let me grab one of these and we do it again. Ta-da! Puzzle breaking, making... Oh, shoot. Nope, that's not what we want to do. Yeah, we can do one of these things, I think. Or we'll just, like, him take care of it. Perfect. That's one of the benefits of being by myself, is I get all the money to myself. I get to be that guy that's like, hey, I get everything. Too bad for all of you. I'm so sad. I'm so sorry. Oh! Oh! Did you see that? I wonder if there's a way to... I am ready. Wait, come here. If we if we launch him up there, and then we go up. Oh, it worked. Wait, okay. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this this way. Come on. There we go. There we go, perfect. I knew there was a way to get that. If I couldn't get it, I would have just left it, but... I knew there was a way to ha- Good shot, Doctor. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I oh, shoot. The situation calls for the vacuum. I'm glad I didn't try and jump that. Glass bulbs contain a natural pyrocytic chemical that can blast through rocks. See if that one's ripe enough to shake down with your quick hammer. Wouldn't that be scary if that type of thing existed in real life? Just some fruit that just exploded. Maybe it does exist. It probably doesn't do like the same thing, but you know. Something that just blows up is crazy. There we go. So why can't we do the thing on that X in the bat? That the other part where like two seconds ago, but it, right here we're allowed to do it. I don't get it. There appears to be another glass bulb here. <laughs> Clank, thank you for taking care of that. Let's go like this. Okay, we'll see. Oh. Come on, Clank. Come on, get in. We're sending you back. Okay. Oh, oh, okay, I see how it works. So this is how we get one of those things down. Ah, okay, okay, now it makes sense. You wanna launch me, uh... This one's for you. No, you don't. Do I have to launch him first? Maybe maybe that's how this puzzle's supposed to work. We're supposed to launch Clank first, and then I do. I gotta stop shooting the bomb. 
There we go. That's what we we're supposed to do. Don't know why that was so difficult for me. It's very strange. I think I'm getting really tired. Next to, like, I ate food. You know when you eat food and you're just, like, you having a good snack after, I don't know, not eating for a little bit? And then you just feel tired afterwards? Like, that's how I feel. I was, like, I was hungry before. I got food. And now I'm just, like, uh, you know, I'm really... Oh, wow, I'm gonna yawn, too. There's so many things. I'm like, no, must record. I can do it. There we go. Excellent. And I should have came back sooner than that, and I did not. Come on, Clank, let's go. And now we can do this. And pop. We'll let Clank take care of that, and I'll worry about this evil beetle thing. Which I can never take on, I don't get it. I always, like, get hurt once just taking care of that thing. Every time. Dude. Nicely done, Clank. Here, let's see if we can launch him. Oh, apparently not. Couldn't launch him all the way. Looks like a carnivorous wigwam. According to the database, their makeup is sarcasm and extremely ill tempered. Oh boy. Ephemeris must have brought it to the dead group to simulate its natural habitat. I'd give that wigwam a wide berth if I were you. Those things use 14 different stomachs to digest their prey. Okay, Clank. There you go. Oh, I, I missed it. I'm sorry, I missed it. Clank, no! Clank, go back! Clank! Clank. This one's for you! I like how I hit him with it. Where's he going? My phone's lighting up like crazy. Maybe that's why I missed that. I'm so popular, everybody. Oh, I missed it. Do I have to jump with it? There we go, like that. There we go. Perfect. Nice job, me. Nice job. And good job, Clank, too. Took you a little bit to get there, but you know. Perfect. Can I save him? Oh, he automatically just revives himself, so I don't even have to heal him. Well, that's funny. That is super funny. He has to heal me, and I don't have to heal him. Oh, wait, let's... Is there anything right here? Right through here, is there anything fancy, like... Secrets? Oh, look at that! There is a secret. Boop! Nicely done. Perfect. Do, 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 do. You always get the help after Clank dies, I notice, too. Every time. It's okay, I guess. He's he can die as many times as he wants. That's I'm fine with it. As long as I don't die, I should be fine. Ooh, some grind rail. Now it's like a 2D platformer. Look at that. And it's the end of the episode. Yay! So I want to thank you guys very much for watching this episode of Ratchet and Clank All for One. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time for some more tired adventures of. Ratchet and Clank, all for one. <laughs> anyway, goodbye for now, my friends.